What's up, everybody? My name is Rod Simmons, and welcome to my channel. I just watched the first episode of Marvel's What If series on Disney+, Plus, and I have to say, this series is off to a really great start. As a lot of you already know, this series is going to take us through different alternate realities where different Marvel characters made different choices. That's a key word in the series, different. In this case, the first episode featuring, or beginning with, Peggy Carter taking the Super, Su Super Soldier Serum instead of Steve Rogers, and then we go from there. I have to say, it was a lot of fun. The episode, I'm not gonna, don't worry, I'm not gonna include any spoilers in my review in case you haven't seen it. It, it included a few twists I didn't see coming, along with a few references to the mainline Marvel universe, which I really appreciated. The animation was also really well done. It felt different from other ones. In fact, kind of the same level as Star Wars Clone Wars, but Marvel style. And I just thought it was great that it sort of differentiated from other cartoons. But also regarding the animation, it was so smooth, vibrant, and colorful. Plus the sound effects, they, also, they were also really well done. In fact, I thought I was watching a quick alternate canon version of Captain America, the first Avenger, or in this case, Captain Carter, excuse me, Captain Carter, the first Avenger. And the only critique I have for the episode is that the plot felt a little rushed in this case. Okay, this scene's over, this next scene, this scene's over, next scene, this scene's over, next scene, and don't worry, I'm not trying to imitate Thanos. <laughs> so, if they could fix that, I would have enjoyed it slightly more, but that was the only small criticism I have. So, all in all, an excellent first episode for Marvel's What If. And I think the second episode is going to feature T'Challa becoming Star-Lord instead of Black Panther, which I'm really, I'm really looking forward to. But let me know in the comments what you think of this episode, and I know I'm a little rusty with these reviews, but I'll get better as time goes along. 